For people in Seattle, when they hear the word pirate, <laughs> most people probably first think about these guys. How you doing? Welcome aboard. Hooray for Dynasty the Horse. They're really cool and they, I like how they have a, it looks like a real pirate ship and it's really awesome. The Seafair Pirates. They've been a fan favorite since 1949. So fun to always see them at all the events and they just bring such joy to everybody and it's just uh, such a blast to see these guys. Yeah, I remember I would hide behind my parents' back. <laughs> be like, no, the pirates are coming. All right, I'll hold yours too. All right, thank you. The Seafair Pirates could be considered the ultimate fraternity. <laughs> Being a pirate, well, it's a pretty what? big deal. Oh, they're everywhere. But, but. but even though it's a lot of fun, being a seafarer pirate is also a lot of work, especially during the busy seafarer season, when they're in more than 10 parades in just two weeks. They really love to entertain kids, so we, we so appreciate their involvement with Seafarer Festival because it really symbolizes what's so important about this community. And you know, this year, uh, both Seafarer and the Pirates are celebrating their 65th anniversary. Ah! So a lot of history and a lot of future ahead of us. A lot of people think R is the favorite letter of a pirate. Oh, it's actually the C. The it's an old joke. Fabulous Seafair Pirates! Is everybody still alive? And while Seafair is a busy time for the pirates, their calendars are full year-round with other local parades, which is probably what they're best known for. But these guys are not just about scary swords and famous loud cannons. Behind the rough and tough pirate image, these guys have really big hearts. Everyone does a parade, they see the, the horses go by, they see the marching bands go by. You know, he's sitting there in his wheelchair, the pirates don't go by. They stop, they sit down, they get to know his name, they ask his grandma, how's he doing, you know. It, it's a completely different thing and you know, it takes, takes great people to do this. Pick it up! The pirates participate in more than 20 parades each year some requiring them to travel out of the area. They've gone as far as the Cayman Islands, Japan, and Taiwan for events. They also visit schools and hospitals, including Children's Hospital and the Ronald McDonald House. Their president, Keith Titus, says no matter what the need is, they do their best to be there for the community. You've you, you got to have a big heart. You've got to be a great human to try to do this because it, it is going to consume you. And pretty soon you got tattoos, you're carrying guns, you're, you know, you have a silly club on your shoulder, you know. And it, it's, it's a rough gig. It really is. But you make that one kid smile, it's all right. I'll do this again tomorrow. Make a wish calls me. Ah, just drop what you're doing. We're going. <laughs> While it's hard work being a pirate, getting on the team is an even bigger challenge. After going through the application and interview process, the first year for a new pirate is strictly probationary. They have to prove themselves pirate worthy before they're formally voted on. <laughs> Since the Seafair Pirates is a nonprofit organization, it does cost them. A big misconception is that they get paid to be the pirates when they're actually the ones paying. Their dues help to raise the funds needed to support their pirate good work. Arr! We done with me praise. But beyond the cost, another big part of being a pirate is being willing to give their time, and lots of it. Time and a commitment. You have to know uh, what you're getting into, both financially, uh, in terms of time, in terms of expected to be out on, on the things that we, that we do. We set up, we get lots and lots of requests to be lots and lots of different places from three-year-olds' birthday parties to senior centers to the torchlight parade We're out with 400,000 of our closest friends. We're leaving in an hour, and all of you can go. We're going to take the tower and build it with Rumble. Even though being a seafarer pirate can be a bit hectic, it's something this rowdy bunch truly loves. It's work these mateys say they'll keep doing as long as they can in the city they love. We're a great brotherhood, you know, and the more people that can come out and get involved with us, the better off we are, you know, and just accept us for carrying on a tradition for the last 65 years. And the more people that understand that, the better off we'll be and the better off Seattle will be, you know, to keep embracing us for the next 65 years.
Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.